Hi, it's Peter from DIY Full Range Hi-Fi Speakers. These are my frugal horns and pretty happy with the way they came out. Made for a customer in Melbourne, Australia. So um, the first shot here is uh, a correction I had to make to the internal baffle. If you look at the dimensions on my earlier video, I've shown how um, the corrected dimension of that so that it matches up with the other length of the internal baffle. Uh, now we come to cutting out for the driver. So um, pretty simple uh, marking out the circle with a pencil and a compass. I've got a little um, trimmer router. It's an Azito brand. It's just a inexpensive brand from our high, local hardware shop. And uh, it's such a small radius on this one. I had to drill a hole through the actual base plate on the router um, for the um, center hole. I think from memory it was about 50 millimeters radius so um, couldn't really use a proper uh, circle jig uh, just the actual base plate um, there's the two uh, front baffles um, as you saw in the earlier photo the front baffle is is uh, actually sheeted with a piece of hardwood over the top of the plywood front baffle so this is only just uh, structural for the integrity of the cabinet. So here's the final shot on my workbench with the final side not yet fully attached but just for the photo. So another couple of things I want to mention is I use Ultra Bond 2 for the adhesive. There are no nails or screws in this cabinet. And the other thing I want to say is when you're routing the hole for the driver, just do it in three or four bytes, not try and route the circle in one go at the full depth. So take your time. Um, yeah, don't try and... Uh, you can easily break your route a bit uh, if you try and go to full depth with that small 6 mil out a bit. Uh, that's all. Uh, thanks for watching and watch out for the next video. Cheers. Bye.